Computers. We are all surrounded by it. Computers have become an integral part of our lives. But what is a computer? In our school days, we have been studying that a computer is a device that can be instructed to carry out an arbitrary set of arithmetic and logical operations automatically. But that definition of computer was boring. Let's make it simple. A computer is a machine that is able to take input or information, do some work or process the information to make an output. Astrolabe and Abacus can be considered as early examples of computer. An astrolabe was a tool which used the position of stars and sun for navigation. It had its origin in 150 BC. Abacus is a very old tool used in math. It enables us to find the addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and even the square roots of the whole numbers just by moving beads on the rods. In early 19th century, the first computing device called the Difference Engine was made by a mechanical engineer and a polymath, Charles Babbage. This machine was a century ahead of its time. The father of computers may not have realized that it was gonna revolutionize the whole modern world. The first half of 20th century witnessed the invention of sophisticated analog computers that were electromechanical. The Zeus Z3 was the world's first working electromechanical, programmable, fully automatic digital computer. It was built using 2000 relays implementing a 22-bit word length that operated at a clock frequency of about 5 to 10 Hz. So many technical terms, but welcome to the digital world. But that was not it. An electron tube, also known as valve, started a whole new chapter in electronics. Invented in 1904 by John Ambrose Fleming, vacuum tubes were a basic component of electronics throughout the first half of the 20th century, which saw the diffusion of radio, television, radar, sound recording and reproduction, large telephone networks, analog and digital computers, and industrial process control. In December 1943, telephone engineer Tommy Flowers designed Colossus to solve a problem posed by mathematician Max Neumann. Colossus was the first electronic digital programmable computing device and was used to break the German ciphers during the World War II. Watch the movie Imitation Game? Turing's machine that helped decode Enigma was the electromechanical bomb. This was before Colossus. This guy Alan Turing proposed the principles of modern computer in his seminal 1936 papers. Von Neumann, a founding figure in computing, acknowledged that the central concept of modern computer was due to the Turing's design of stored program, where all instructions of computing is stored in the memory. Turing machines are the central object of study in the theory of computation. In 1947, William Shockley invented the bipolar transistor which replaced the vacuum tubes in computer designs, giving rise to the second generation of computers. Before the transistor, a computer ENIAC built by the US Army contained 17,500 vacuum tubes, 7,200 crystal diodes, 1,500 relays, 70,000 resistors, 10,000 capacitors, and 5 million hand-soldered joints. It weighed more than 30 short tons and was roughly 8 by 3 by 100 feet in size and occupied 1,800 square feet and consumed 150 kilowatts of electricity. Now that's one heck of a machine. Whenever this jumbo was switched on, lights in Philadelphia dimmed. Transistor reduced this room size of a computer to approximately the size of a refrigerator. The next great advance in computing power came with the advent of integrated circuit. The first practical ICs were invented by Jack Kilby at Texas Instruments and Robert Noyce at Fairchild Semiconductors. In February 1959, Kilby described his new device as a body of germanium semiconductor material wherein all the components of electronic circuit are completely integrated. Noyce also came up with his own idea of silicon IC half a year later. This chip also solved many practical problems that Kilby's chip did not. This new development heralded an explosion in the commercial and the personal use of computers and led to the foundation of Intel Corporation by Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore. Invention of microprocessors was the next big thing. This laid the foundation of Silicon Valley which gave us our favorites Apple, Microsoft and others. 
Coming to the 21st century, it witnessed domination of mobile computers with continued miniaturization of computing resources and advancement in the portable battery life. Portable computers grew in popularity in the 2000s. Now we got laptops, smartphones, tablets, smartwatches, and what not. The journey of computers continues from a hand-driven mechanical device to a huge room-sized mega computer and finally to a device right now at your fingertips. The study of computer science is going to bring many new episodes of advancement in our lives for years to come. Till then, stay tuned, subscribe to Takila and thanks for watching.